This is the sports bar where our proposal takes place. And that young man entering in the baseball cap is Jason Rosenblum. Now, Jason has come to this bar in Long Beach, California with his buddy, Sean. Sean is wearing the black and white sweater. Now, he is working for us. Now, Jason thinks that his girlfriend, Lisa, is in Seattle visiting her family, but we actually flew Lisa back early to surprise Jason. She's being met here at the airport by our friend, Jenny. <laughs> oh, honey. I haven't slept, so we're probably going to stay up and bead my dress all night. So. You didn't finish your dress? Oh, no. Oh, no. Lisa. <laughs> oh, it's good to be home. Now, you'll notice some of our cameras in plain view. That's because Jason thinks that ABC Sports will televise a live feed from this bar at halftime. On ABC's Monday Night Football. Jason proposed to me about a year and a half ago on my graduation night. It was a big, huge event. And I had friends that flew in from Washington, and I, everybody was just swarming around me. And, and Jason pulled me aside and proposed to me. And it was very sweet, but I was just, I, he had to repeat it. I mean, he, he gave me the ring, and I thought, what is this? You know, I, I, it didn't even dawn on me. I had no idea he was going to do it. And bless his heart, I just, he was really hurt, and I knew he was. He even asked me to keep the ring as a friendship ring. And I knew he wasn't going to give up, but I just wasn't ready. Our next step is to get Jason out of the bar so that our MC can explain to the crowd what's about to happen. Now keep in mind that Sean drove Jason to the bar tonight in a rented powder blue tempo. All right, forgive me for interrupting. If you are driving a powder blue tempo, a powder blue tempo, the license plate is 3DLT708. Powder blue tempo, would you please come see me? There seems to be some small problem. Other than that, we're in fine, fine shape. We're going to have a ball. Do not move for the first two minutes of halftime. That's what we're coming back here live, OK? Powder blue tempo, anybody? Right here. You are? Yeah. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's going to go on. They just asked me. Uh, I don't know what's going to go on. Uh, well, you're not going to lose your seats. Well, next week we go to Irving, Texas. Our MC is telling Jason and Sean that the police have requested to see the driver of that blue car outside. Now, we have an actor playing a policeman waiting in the parking lot surrounded by hidden cameras. Hey, guys, how are you? Sorry to bother you. We asked them if we could park here, and they said we could. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's just a oh. check. Look, if I could just talk to you for a second. Um, we uh, we just had a routine check. I hate to take you away from the game, but we had a routine check on the car, and right. it's, it's it's a rental car, right? This is 3DLT708? Yes. All right. Can I have everyone's attention? Please. I need absolute quiet. I told you are doing a live shot. We are, but it's not about football, okay? This is a special surprise. You're all in it. You're about to see a marriage proposal. Uh, repeat. What was that? I couldn't hear that. OK, great. It's, it's clear? OK, thank you very much. Sorry. <laughs> good luck. Have a good time at the game, OK? Thanks a lot. Take care. We let the crowd in on our plans so that they could enjoy the moment along with us. And now that they're on our side, we can let Jason return to his table. Just my luck. I know Jason is the right person for me because he involves himself with everything I do. Also, Jason loves children. He's going to be a great dad someday. He's the type of guy that will go outside and a crowd of children will just swarm around him. He loves children and right there tells you that he's, he's loving. Balls all season coming in. Humphreys, good protection, throws a fade into the end zone. Now Jason is totally engrossed in the football game again. He has absolutely no idea that Lisa is hidden away in the kitchen. I've got to stay focused. I think once I see him and I hold his hand, I think I'll be OK. And now as halftime approaches, we've arranged for another surprise. We're about to bring in three more accomplices, the Monday Night Football announcers. Watch. Anyway, end of the half. 14-0, back with halftime. Three seconds away from our live shot. Okay, good luck. 
While we have a break in the action, we'd like to thank all of the fans who've helped make Monday Night Football an American institution through the years. Of course, it'd be impossible to thank each and every one of you, but we do want you to know we appreciate your loyal support. Well, guys, actually, there is one fan out there I'd like to mention, and he's watching us tonight out in Long Beach, California. He's one of our all-time biggest fans, and his name is Jason Rosenblum. Oh, good choice, Dan. I believe that Jason's uh, watching at a restaurant with his buddy Sean, and that's because his girlfriend Lisa is out of town with her family in Seattle. You know, we'd like to make this night a very special one for you, Jason. So right now, turn to your left and watch carefully the kitchen door. You're about to receive a surprise, man, you will never forget. Listen to how quiet this bar gets. Hey, honey. What are you doing here? I'll explain everything. I have something very important to ask you. Okay. You asked me once before, but I was really scared, and I wasn't ready. But instead of turning your back on me, instead of turning your back on me, you took the opportunity to win my heart and show me how special you really are. And I love you. I love you too. But all the I love yous in the world can't say this. Jason, I want you to be my husband. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Teary watching it again, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lisa, we could feel your emotions here uh, in this room when you appeared at that kitchen door. Were you supposed to say something before you walked over to Jason? Oh, I had a whole speech rehearsed. I mean, I just said it over and over and over again, but it was so scary. I didn't know, you know, what would he do? What would he say? Would he say yes? You know, I was terrified. <laughs> and, and Jason, um, somebody yelled speech when it was all over. Uh, do you remember what you said? Well, you know what, don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Our cameras were still rolling, so oh, let's okay. take a look, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'd just, I just like to say, I met Lisa about a year and a half ago. Um, we moved in about three months after that together. And I asked her on her graduation night from college if she would marry me. But I gave her the ring as a friendship ring with room to grow. And she took the ring. So, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I'm a little nervous, I, I guess she found that the time that we lived together and everything, that my love was strong enough for her, and it grew enough where I didn't even expect to see her tonight, and then to see her come through the door and do this, it's like, my heart's just like, I can't even, I can't even breathe or speak, but yes, I do love Lisa Jackson, and I will marry her. Yeah! I think every woman in America is in love with you right now. That is so <laughs> sweet. And that was a night to remember. Do you have any idea who won the game that night, Jason? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> well, best wishes to both of you. And thank you. thank you for sharing this very special and very personal moment with us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.